Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. And you can see behind me, Mrs. Spritzer's first grade room. They are truly ready to go. And by the way, I do have Christian from fifth grade over here by me as well from Mrs. Smith's room. He's gonna share some things that he's been doing that shows leadership, just like this class has shown leadership as well every, when I work with them every day. So that we're excited so, to hear from him. So great. It is a terrific Tuesday. And I just have to tell you how it's terrific. Mr. Miller, remember that calendar you gave me that says every day is an opportunity to make it a great day? Well, we have, as you know, we have some people that are getting sick and we have some teachers that can't be here. But let me tell you what's terrific about that. Everybody else helps out. Unfortunately, Mrs. Blair, our counselor, isn't here today, so we won't have guidance lessons. But instead, Mrs. Anderson said, well, all those students can come to me. I'm happy to see those students. We can read more books. We can watch more videos. So if you have guidance today, today instead you're going to the library because Mrs. Anderson always tries to figure out how to help out. We have other people that are stepping up to help the fourth grade go on the first field trip we've had for a couple of years. And one of the second grade students said to me, why does fourth grade get to go on a field trip and not us? And I said, because every fourth grader in Des Moines goes on that field trip. It's part of their art, what they learn in fourth grade art. So Mrs. Spritzer's class, when you're in fourth grade, you'll go on that field trip no matter what school, if even if you're not at Finley. So there are just so many ways that this is a great day today. Well, yes, and that's why I wanted to bring in Christian too, because um, I've seen a few things from him, more than a few this year, but just a few things lately that he has done that show leadership. He does things without being asked to do them is what I want to really say. So, Christian, I want to ask you this. You know, you brought in some flyers that I asked you to bring in about an, another daycare for students to maybe to have opportunities with that. Then yesterday, what did you do in the lunchroom? Um, I picked up the celery off the floor. He picked up the celery off the floor without being asked. Now, a staff member didn't have her gloves on, so he heard that. He just heard it. I didn't tell, I was nearby him, and he just went over and picked up a napkin and picked up the celery from the floor that way. On your own accord. How come you keep doing some of these great things? Because um, um, when we were talking about the lunch stand and the thing, when we, those people came in for the lunch thing, and then I was just following directions what they said. He's following directions when they have the behavior expectations for the lunchroom. He keeps remembering what they told him. And he's not giving up that process of doing the right thing when you really, really need to. So on that same theme, I'm going to turn around here and ask a few members of this beautiful class to tell me how you've been working to help this class. Kyla, speak up loud and clear. How have you been helping this class? Picking up trash when there's trash in the floor. So she's kind of doing what Christian was doing, like with the food in the lunchroom. She sees it and she picks it up on her own. And then Abdullah, tell him what you've been doing to help this class as a team. Okay. He's did you hear that? He's gonna be a role, he's a role model. And Mrs. Spritzer, do you think that's true every day? Oh yeah. Abdullah? Abdullah was saying, listening to the teacher and what she has to say. Listening to the, every yes. Day. Every day, listening, following directions. That's what makes this, this class in this school a better place every day. And Henry has something else to say. Henry, you want to come up here? Okay, thanks, Christian, for moving over nicely. Here we go. 
Henry's going to do a shout out because he's ready. Go ahead, Henry. Say so you have a shout out. I have a shout out. Yeah. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out for Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill. Yeah. Mr. Bill. Yeah. Teaching him what, what kind of math? He, he, oh, he's working on other kinds of math problems. He said even second grade work he's working on. And so he's he's got more opportunities in this room to learn more of the math skills that he wants to learn. So isn't that great? <laughs> it's fantastic. The, I'm reminded of, of, of a morning meeting not too long ago when we talked about the definition of integrity. So I am very proud to be a part of a community that is building young people with integrity, that they motivate themselves to do what's right, no matter who's looking. And that, the meaning of integrity is, I think, just about every Finley student I know. And that is going to take these Finley students far off into success in their life. Perhaps someday, first grade, you might find yourself in where? College. So how about a college cheer? I know you're ready. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. When does fifth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2033. Two, four, six, eight. When does fourth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When does third grade graduate? 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When does second grade graduate? 20, 20, 2036. Two, four, six, eight. When does first grade graduate? 20, 20, 2037. Two, four, six, eight. When does kindergarten graduate? 20, 20, 2038. Finley dreamers, dream big. Dream we believe. We believe. Pull hearts. Pull hearts. Better together. Better together.